I'm going to be showing you how to wirelessly transfer files between your Android device and your computer. I only know how to do this with a Windows computer, so if you use a Mac or a Linux, I'm not really sure if it will work, but you can try it out to see if it does. But if you use a Mac, then I'm sure you use an iPhone, so <laughs> possibly Linux users will be able to do this. Alright, so for this to work, you need this app called Plain App. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. When you get to the Play Store, you just tap Install and then you tap Open when it is done downloading. Alright, so I just tapped the Open button and now it is asking me to confirm some things. All I have to do is just tap OK. And first it's going to ask to show notifications. So I'll tap this. I just tapped the button at the top. And then I'll tap the back button. And that's about it. So, to start sharing files between your phone and your computer, you have to make sure that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So both of them have already been connected. Next thing I'll do is I'll tap this um, PC icon up here. First thing you want to do is to tap enable this button over here. You tap it and um, you can see two options here, HTTPS and HTTP. I would recommend you select HTTPS. Next, this is going to be the address that you enter in your browser to access the files on your phone and vice versa. You can also access the files on your computer. And then um, you need to set a password. So this password is too random for me. This is actually the option that allows you to create random passwords. So if you want, you can tap reset to create new passwords. But for me, I like using fixed. So I'll tap fixed here. And then I'm going to enter the password that I want. So for this tutorial, I'll just make it 7777. Then I'll tap confirm and I can go back. Alright, so after that, those are all the settings that you need in order to start using the app. You only have to do these settings once. After the first time, you don't have to do them again. The only thing you have to do is to bookmark this or you save this address so that you can easily access it on your computer. Alright, so now what you want to do is to enter this address exactly how it is. You have to start with the HTTPS. Alright, so I'm done entering the address and as you can see, it looks the same as what is on my phone. So after that, I'll press enter on the keyboard. Now, if this shows up, don't worry, just click advanced. And then at the bottom, you see where it says proceed. So you click this and it's going to ask you for the password. So the password is 7777 and then I'll click login. And then I'll tap accept on the phone. So as you can see, the PC now has access to the files on my phone and I can start sharing files between the two devices. If you're interested in seeing the images you have on your phone through the computer, you click images. So I'll just click it now as an example. All right, I forgot to mention this. You have to enable this option that says allow web to manage files. So I'll tap it now and then I'll refresh this page. As you can see, these are some of the pictures that I have on my device. I'm sure I'm blurring some of them or hiding some of them. But if you're interested in any picture, you just need to click on it. And it's going to show you in full. If you use the wheel on your mouse, it's going to zoom in and out. So I'll close this now. And then I'll close this. Okay, so if you wish to download files from the phone, then you click files. And you can access your internal storage or your SD card if your phone has an external storage. So to find the files that you wish to transfer, you can just scroll through and find the folder where the file is. For me, I have the files at the bottom here. So I'm going to download these files to my PC. Let's see this one. You can right click on it and then you click download. And it's going to get downloaded. So after it is done downloading, you can click here and it should open in the folder where it was downloaded to. So this is the file that I just downloaded from my phone to my computer. You can select multiple files if you want to by clicking select mode and then you choose the files you wish to download and you can click here to download them. For now, I've already downloaded this one, so I'll download these two. As you can see, it's going to zip them and then send them to your computer. But for now, I'll cancel this. This is because I don't want to waste too much time. All right, so I have shown you how to download files from your phone to your PC. Now I'm going to show you how to download files from your PC to your phone. And in order to do this, you just need to right click on an empty space and then you click upload files and from here you can choose the files you wish to upload so if you want you can select multiple files to upload so i'm going to select this and um, this so these are two files and then i'll click open 
To select multiple files, you press and hold the control key on your keyboard and then you click the files that you wish to select. So as you can see, the first one is done and the second one is also done. So now I have um, five files that I've sent through this plain app to my phone. So that is how you easily and quickly transfer files between your computer and your phone wirelessly. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.